Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I am very happy to see you here today. In this video today, I want to share with you one of the best recipes that really help to get rid of that excess oil and really help to shrink the pores and actually, you know, soak up all the stale sebum on the skin and within the pores. The recipe I'm going to prepare today is great because you could use it as the powder cleanser for your face and also as the mask. So it gives you two in one and you could use either one whenever you need it. You could use a mask two times a week and you could uh, also two or three times a week wash your face with this powder. I will start by mixing all the ingredients in this bowl here. Let's add the first ingredient. The first ingredient I'm going to add here will be baking soda. We are using baking soda because it will provide a granular texture to gently help lift grime from our face and we shall need it in the amount one quarter of a cup. I am providing you right now with the amounts enough for more than one use obviously. So this is one quarter of a cup of baking soda. The next ingredient I'm going to add is kaolin clay. You could use um, kaolin clay if you have one on hand or white cosmetic clay. You could use pink kaolin clay. So pretty much um, whatever you have right now on hand. I do recommend uh, kaolin clay because it's great for acne prone skin, great for sensitive skin. That's very important here because um, many people think that sensitive skin cannot develop acne but unfortunately it can and you cannot use any harsh um, things like you know harsh scrubs like sugar scrubs for your face. We shall need kaolin clay in the amount of one tablespoon. Great benefits of kaolin clay for your skin will provide us with the natural ability of the kaolin clay to absorb the excess oil and reduce the sebum on the skin and within the pores. The next ingredient I'm going to use is the activated charcoal. Well, if you have a charcoal supplement, you could use the capsules. That's actually what I did. Just be careful because it might get messy and your hands will become black but that's not a big deal really and we shall need to use it in the amount of one teaspoon and that would equivalent uh, to four capsules. Charcoal is great for skin, for oily skin because it draws the bacteria and toxins out of the skin. It helps to fight the acne and um, pretty much achieve that flawless complexion that we all so much desire. And then the next ingredient I'm going to add uh, would be grapeseed oil. But before I add that, I would mix all the dry ingredients here. Actually, to be honest, we could just add essential oils and you could stop right there and always store it in the form of the powder. I really love using grape uh, seed oil because it provides nutrients to our skin. It's high in antioxidants and it's also great for sensitive skin, which is so important for you know people suffering from acne. It will never aggravate any existing acne. It will not clog your pores. We shall use grapeseed oil in the amount of one teaspoon. And then the last ingredient I'm going to add would be the pink grapefruit essential oil. We shall need five drops of that and I would not uh, skip that step. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. I love, oh, six. Always get high quality essential oil. This is very important. I love grapefruit for my skin because it's, it really helps to maintain healthy skin. It treats acne, oily skin, but besides it's also tighten the skin and of course sh uh, shrinks the large pores. What I'm going to do now is mix everything up so the next thing you would need to do is store it in the glass container. Next time you're ready to use it, you would just need to get a very, very small amount, I'd say an amount of one teaspoon. Just make sure you really mix it all up, that there's like one even consistency here. Make sure your face is clean. I would recommend you to steam it, especially with different herbs. And then you would need to begin working in circles and spread it over the entire face, but make sure you avoid the lip area, the under eye area, and of course pay special attention to the areas like, you know, where you have the scars, where you maybe have like really problem areas at the moment, and you would need to rinse it well and follow, you know, with a moisturizer if desired, but um, this way you will get a perfect powder cleanser for your face. But I also love using it because any powder cleanser is versatile in um, in terms you could use it in as a form of mask. So if you're going to use it as a mask, you just get um, 
an amount and mix it in a separate bowl with water, with tea, with more oil, with uh, aloe vera juice or gel. So something that makes it a perfect smooth consistency and you apply it on your face for 15 minutes and then you wash it off with uh, warm water and you know proceed with your regular skincare routine. Grapefruit essential oil does have a photo uh, for the toxic properties but we are using a very small amount and uh, if you can apply the SPF or do not expose yourself to the direct sunlight and if you're using it as a mask in the evening that won't really give you any problem you will be absolutely good to go in the morning all right guys so now we know how we can prepare the mask but right now I really wanted to show you not really how I apply the mask on my face but rather to show you the color of the mask well once you made it um, a smooth paste like this I have right here it's not very runny but um, at the same time great for you know applying a nice not really that thick smooth layer on your faces right and maybe the neck and decollete area but what I really love about this mask is its color as you can see the color of this mask is dark blue it's not black, it's not gray, and it's really blue. So I would apply that mask. So I would apply this mask like this. I mean, you could go and apply the mask in the upward motions, you know, like be a professional, some spark treatment. I'm not really very good at even applications, but honestly, you know, why would we care, right? So just. Make sure you apply it on your face. And now my forehead requires some treatment as well. My nose. I'm trying to do it fast so I don't take forever. Or, you know. All right. So like this. That's why I really love this mask. It's, it's so simple to apply it, like no struggle at all. And as you can see, you see the color of the mask. It's really blue. I have to come closer so you could see, and I missed the spot. So, see, you avoid the under eye area. You could avoid the lip area as much as you can, and just do it like this. Okay, so I believe I'm all good here, and I have a little mask left. I'll probably go ahead and put it on my neck. All right, like this. See? You see the color of the mask? It's really amazing. So the mask will start to dry and because we're using the clay in it, it will really uh, dry and I won't be able to speak. So I'll really have to say you guys goodbye. I hope you liked this video. It was informative. You liked my mask application and especially like the mask color. And of course, as always, I wish you to stay very happy and healthy. Don't forget to love yourself always be kind to yourself. I hope you are very successful in your DIY recipes. And if you have any questions, just please let me know. Thank you for your support and attention. Subscribe to my channel, put the thumbs up if you like this video, and I will be happy to see you in the next one.